go to Japan tomorrow? No, I'm going later in this uh, in this month. In like a week. Um, so I'm excited about that. And then you already know what that means. I'm going to Japan, and then after that, I'm getting a puppy. Okay? You already know it. In the books. We're doing it. Made Cafe, Muscle Mommy Cafe, all this shit. And then after that, getting a puppy. For people who are asking, did you decide on a breed? I did not. I did not. I don't know. I, I, I might just end up getting a pit bull again. Because I do love me some pits. I've thought about it a lot. No, I'm going to buy one. Everyone immediately goes, what, like, why not adopt? Rescue? Yo, of course I'm going to fucking rescue, man. Shut the fuck up. This shit pisses me off so much. When I say I'm going to go get a dog, everyone immediately assumes I'm going to buy one. Like, everyone. I immediately. Because, like, everyone has to be in the moral high ground at every fucking talking point. Like, even when it's something as beautiful as, like, getting a dog, you know what I mean? Motherfuckers literally use that as another opportunity where I can come across like I am uh, in the morally high ground over uh, over the streamer. It's like, yeah, dude, I'm not going to buy a dog, okay? I'm going to adopt a dog, just like I did last time I had a dog, okay? I, I hate whenever, like, whenever I say I'm going to get a dog, everyone, no one even asks, like, like, no one even assumes that I'm going to adopt a dog just like I did, okay, uh, last time around. But, like, immediately the, the fucking, uh, the, the sentiment is like, oh, you're buying a dog, you're going to go out and, like, buy one, and I don't like that, and that's why you should fucking rescue. When you talk about getting a specific breed, it sounds like you're going to buy from a breeder. It doesn't matter. Like, when I say I don't know what kind of breed of dog I want, that doesn't change the reality because every type of fucking dog is adoptable. Like, literally, there is all matter of different dogs that are puppies that you can adopt. It doesn't sound like that at all. I'm just saying I don't know what kind of breed of dog I want. Uh, doesn't mean that I'm going to go and buy one. It just means I'm going to still rescue but i'm going to choose you motherfuckers make it seem like you motherfuckers make it seem like it's just a you know it's a thing where fishing for compliments maybe the people not chatting know you're gonna adopt no i just i'm not fishing for compliments you you ask other people in the chat that say that I got a baby chihuahua. Best thing that ever happened to me. I love that little Jim Henson Muppet looking ass. I will never get a chihuahua. I will not get a small dog. I will not purchase with my money, which is what I'm definitely going to do, a small dog. I would get a large dog. I do love Swiss mountain dogs. The problem is that they're very, they're very slobbery and stinky. So I don't know. <laughs> you should adopt a breed at random. How dare you? Now I have the highest moral ground. Exactly. I love Akitas. I mean, Akitas are basically, Akitas are like pit bulls too. They're like the pit bull of Japan. You know what I mean? But the problem with Akitas, and I have been thinking a lot about like possibly finding an Akita. Um, from what I understand, they're like they're they're hard to 
they're they're hard to to you know just take care of especially in a place like Los Angeles I will not be getting a greyhound Akitas are like Shibas though yeah they're they're fucking yeah Shibas and Akitas of the Inu family are incredibly incredibly fucking uh uh stubborn and exactly like cats and I don't like that. All you can do is adopt based on vibes and vibes alone, but sure, there's always a preference to breed. Yeah, that's how I that's how I operate. That's always that's always what I uh that's always how I operate. No, I'm not getting a retired police dog, dude, who's going to be like fucked up from PTSD and like try to kill every black friend I have, like the moment that they step foot in my house, okay? No disrespect to the fucking dogs, uh, you know, but I'm I'm trying to get a puppy. <laughs> Motherfuckers are like, "Bro, get a get a absolutely devastated absolutely brain broken fucking uh police dog so he tries to kill all of your friends you can get puppies that failed police training there's a program yeah, I've I've heard about this. Maybe we'll see. Anyway, this is not your opportunity to tell me about your friend's uncle's cousin who's like offering uh who's trying to rehome a dog or something. This is not your opportunity to tell me I should get a cat. I'm just giving you guys updates about what's going on. You will have no say in this, okay? Yeah, this is this <laughs> I can I don't know if chat is unaware of this or not, but yes, you can do breed specific rescues very easily. You can find puppies very easily in, in the rescue system. Okay. That's how, I mean, there's a lot of fucking dogs out there. A lot of them get rescued from even mills, you know what I mean? From puppy mills and shit. So I had a friend who rescued a super old pit that was used for fighting. And it was an endless amount of work. Okay? An endless amount of work. And I don't want to do that. I can't do that. I don't have time for that. I'm not the saint, okay? I just want a fucking cute-ass dog that I can raise and educate and uh, teach tricks to, you know what I mean? And have a lifelong companionship with. I'm not doing it because, like, you know, it's the morally superior thing to do. Once again, um, I don't really care about moral superiority, specifically as it pertains to my consumption. I think I've made that very clear over the time. I have to get a fucking haircut. My hair is insane right now. My hair has completely gotten out of control. Okay. I, if I don't wash it, like I didn't wash it this morning, just like insane. Not a good way. Um, yeah, you'd get a cat if you cared about doing the morally superior thing. No. Getting a cat would not be the fucking morally. Hear me out. Get a highland cow, calf instead of a dog. Don't these things grow up and become like straight up fucking cows? Like, how the fuck would I, where would I, 
Where would I fit this thing when it grows up? In your belly? I already have a pet chicken, so. All right, let's get started. Let's get started on the news, everybody. Thank you, Thamacius, for the playlist. Have you thought about which breeds you might like? Yes, big, bully-adjacent breeds are the breeds I like. I am a fan of big dogs. I want a dog that's not like super high energy though. That's easy to socialize. I mean, I was able to train my pit bull fairly well and pit bulls are like usually very hard to train. So I, I do believe that I can easily do that. Um, I love, I will not be getting a golden retriever or a lab. I don't like golden, like no, no disrespect to white people, but it's not for me. It's just, I'm sorry. I, I, I just, I don't like, I see, I see labs and golden retrievers. Like I, I love all dogs. So I'll pet a lab and I'll pet a golden retriever, but it's just not for me. And when I see a lab or a golden retriever, I'm like, nope. King Corsos are fucking insane. I love them. Absolutely fucking love them. Uh, I would probably be down to get one. I do love King Corsos. They are incredible dogs. Definitely a fan of the King Corso. Probably in the top of my list of, of dogs, uh, dog breeds that I'm into. Here it is. This is a cane corso. For those of you who don't know, look at how fucking terrifying corso. and cute. Look how terrifying and cute this fucking thing is, bro. I think for me, the reason why I love scary looking big dogs is because they're like me. You know what I mean? They're just like, they're terrifying. They're terrifying. They're massive. But also at the same time, they're very lovable and very nice and very gentle beings. When you Ancient Greek tribe, the Molossi, when you get to know them, big boned guardian mastiffs. At the height of the Roman Empire, the legions that occupied the Greek islands brought Molossers back to Italy and bred them to native Italian breeds, producing the ancestors of the modern Corso and its. Big Hear me out, Belgian Malinois. I love Belgian Malinois. My trainer has one, and I've seen, I've seen that. This uh, I've seen that Belgian Malinois grow, and I fucking love that thing. Uh, he's like a little hyena. So smart and annoying at times, too, because of how fucking smart he is. Oh, and today he is old for socialization. This helped him to get used to strangers and process. And his owner is also known as Italian Mac, the most lovable dog. But if you enter his property, rest assured, he will guard it at all costs. I am bathing his very big noggin today in our bake himself off. I love, I, I also him. love dogs. I just, I love these dogs, man. They're great. You can't stream eight to 10 hours straight with a Malinois. You'll both be miserable. Yeah. If I got a Belgian Malinois and I was streaming eight to 10 hours every day, that dog would go fucking insane. My trainers both have dogs. One of them has a Belgian Malinois, incredibly well-trained dog. And this dog goes fucking, this dog would go fucking crazy if he wasn't outside all day and running around all day. It, it would just not happen. Kongals bite harder than great white sharks. I do love Kongals, but you can't really... Kongals are unfortunately one dog that I can't adopt. I have to buy one. And also the process is like really difficult. So as much as I love Kongals, 
the Turkish breed. It's like one of the most massive fucking dogs out there. One of the strongest fucking dogs out there. The Anatolian Shepherd. Um, the unfortunate reality with Anatolian Shepherds is that they are very difficult to get in America, especially. Like sometimes you like, sometimes people literally sneak them outside of Turkey. They're everywhere in Turkey, but outside of Turkey, they're hard to find. That's why you rarely ever see them outside of Turkey. I don't like Sharpays all that much because Sharpays are, I feel like Sharpays are also like, yeah, this is a Kongal. They're, I mean, they're great. They're fire. No, Irish wolfhounds are scary and I don't like them. They are scary. Irish wolfhounds look like fucking bloodborne dogs. Dogo Argentino is great too. That's another like bully style breed. For those of you who don't know, that's another breed that I've looked into that I've thought is like kind of fire. I personally find them to be a uh, lovely and interesting breed as well. I mean, you're, these are, these are good suggestions because these are suggestions that actually like kind of make sense for exactly what I'm looking for. So when you, when you, when you post these uh, ones, like these do make sense. Like a dog that you get to like 80 to a hundred pounds. You know, I do love, I, I don't know. I think I might just, I might get a cane Corso, dude. Please be careful with links today. I don't want to get into the details, but there was a chatter posting a virus link and offline and then attempting to subscribe so it won't be seen. Little Bear, I'm sure you've already uh, told. I'm sure you've already informed the uh, mods on it, right? No, greyhounds are not originally. Greyhounds are hair. not uh, uh, the type of dog I like. Okay, they also look like demon dogs. Greyhounds are like large chihuahuas, dude. I don't want a skinny dog. I want a big dog. All right, we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done with the dog conversation. Let's get to the fucking news. Let's get to the news. <laughs> 